The following is part of a series of occasional videos related to the interdisciplinary and multi-institutional partnerships with the National Science Foundation funded High Performance Wireless Research and Education Network via the University of California, San Diego. Water quality assessments are becoming more and more critical in Southern California and elsewhere. This video describes ongoing activities related to HPN-enabled real-time hydrology sensors at San Diego State University's Santa Margarita Ecological Reserve. Both permanent and mobile approaches are being discussed. HPRAN is a collaborative cyber infrastructure on research, education and public safety activities, reaching predominantly remote environments within an about 20,000 square mile area in Southern California. Hello, my name is Pablo Bryant. I work for the San Diego State University, the College of Sciences. I am in charge of the network within the Santa Margarita Ecological Reserve. Uh, we are a node on HP-REN, and we have a 45 megabit connection to the internet through HP-REN. This is a Troll 9000 water quality instrument that we have installed here at the gorge on, in Santa Margarita. Um, this is a permanent installation. Every 15 minutes, data is pulled from this point of temperature, dissolved oxygen, conductivity, pH, and pressure. And this instrument will stay out for about three weeks, and then we'll bring it in and recalibrate all of the sensors. Uh, and that just ensures sort of a consistency and good data response. Generally, it's a good idea to clean it once a week to come down here and just flush out any kind of debris and algae that can clog up the probes and give bad data results. And we have three such sensors at Santa Margarita. We have this one here in the gorge we have one at Devil's Creek and one at Stone Creek. Um, and those three sensors are representative of three different um, land use types surrounding those areas. And so the gorge here is actually um, along the Santa Margarita River. And the Santa Margarita um, is a confluence of two rivers coming in, the Murrieta and the Temecula River, a little bit east of here. And so this provides um, a relatively um, clean environment. Um, there's not a whole lot of direct agricultural runoff or urban runoff in this particular spot. So this gives us a good example of um, a less, uh, less polluted site than some of the other. This is a mobile water quality unit. This is a troll in C2 9500 and a small EEE computer that weighs about four pounds. It has battery life for roughly six hours, so you can just take it fully charged down a river anywhere that you need to do some field work and you have about six to six and a half hours to work. So we just put this in the river and it will collect a measurement. 10 measurements. <laughs> 10 measurements. So you just type a simple command and the computer will record um, conductivity, temperature, pressure, and pH in the probe or whatever other sensors you may have in there. The sensors can hold additional, um, additional sensors for different parameters if you like. Um, this unit is great because it's very compact, very lightweight. Um, you can actually take it out in the field with, with very little problem. We have actually walked um, about four miles of this river with the system and it worked exceptionally well. And the great thing about this program is that it also is set up to take all of the data as it's recording the data. It also has a GPS unit here and is recording the location of every measurement that you take. And so when you're finished with your sampling, you can upload the data and the program will create a Google Earth file and you can actually see your sampling points on a Google map, which is a fantastic 
um, addition to the, the data quality measurements themselves. So the program just involves a simple command and essentially every time you type the command the computer will take 10 distinct readings um, of all of the parameters that uh, that are attached to the sensor for now. Um, so for each sampling location you actually have several replications which is always a good thing to have. Uh, that way you can actually see your data sort of scrolling up on the screen. You can also um, verify your data results so if you see um, data that are outside of of the normal parameters, then you can make some adjustments. You can see if your sensors need to be recalibrated and that sort of thing. HP RAN is fortunate to have partners such as San Diego State University's Field Stations program. Specifically, the Santa Margarita Ecological Reserve has been highly valuable as a testbed for networking and sensor technologies in a rugged environment which allows for substantial interdisciplinary research and education activities. Already, the National Park Service and California State University Channel Island plan to use the mobile water quality sensor in Malibu Creek in the Santa Monica mountain area to track water quality anomalies, which may be linked to incidents of disease in steelhead trout. The major benefit of being on HP REN and having the internet connectivity throughout this reserve is it is a very it's a great enabler it allows us to put a greater density of sensors within the reserve um, to measure microclimate to measure hydrology like we've talked about to measure sound to uh, track animals because we're part of a connectivity corridor between the palomar and the santa ana mountains and having this wireless connectivity and then distributing it throughout the reserve allows researchers to put these sensors in the field and to monitor them through the internet from their desktop. 